each team is without a pretty important player. Alex Hemingway of Clemson, an emergency appendectomy a couple days ago. He's okay, but obviously not playing. And there are going to be some times when players have to switch. Nice look. And the slam for Francisco Caparo and a foul to boot. To be open because you go with the cutter, set a screen, just a little wide pin down, two on the ball. They just drop it off. To it can really wear on you the way that Virginia runs its offense. And you have to be really patient in this game if you're Clemson because it's a rhythm disrupting type of game. In the last two for Clemson, great against Notre Dame on the weekend and then terrific last night against NC State. And how about that? And so even the value of a performance in a really close loss, you lose in double overtime. That's not just a loss. That's a quality performance worthy of a win. That was a quality performance right there by Caden Shedrick. And good close out there by Chase Hunter. Now Beekman shut off on the baseline by Shefflin. Boy, that shot fake is so good. And the reverse for Kihei Clark. Kihei Clark catches the ball, just lifts up, and he gets Hunter just off balance a bit. Beekman, the defensive player of the year in the conference, and pretty good at the offensive end as well, but had oh. that one blocked, and then saving it under your opponent's bucket. For, for like a bubble drill right. into the bucket. Now, last year they had, a, they had an episode where it took him three or four chances, and Tony Bennett let him know about it, but that's an outstanding managerial crew. Shot clock inside five. Caffaro. What a Murray. pass. And Murray will hit it. How about that? Just his second three of the season. Now two of 12. Caffaro had one on one in the post after ball reversal. And looked middle and found Shefflin was in the lane. Murray's hit a big shot. Shedrick in off the bench. Both ends of the floor with the injury to Vanderplus. They've still got good depth. Gardner, his second bucket in a row. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball. Pocket pass again. And Shedrick with an and one opportunity. Virginia offense at its finest right there. You know, the big guy helps out, so P.J. Hall tries to give attention to it. He gives that little pocket pass to Caden Shedrick. And now Hall's got to recover, and he was in the restricted arc against NC State. Gardner got rid of it in a hurry. And Armand Franklin somehow got the offensive rebound with three Tigers right there. Clemson with just two offensive rebounds here in the half. Virginia, as you said, they don't typically get a lot, but they've got six offensive rebounds in the game tonight. Another good pass and another bucket. Shefflin guarding Clark. Franklin into the paint. Elevates and hit. And he's got Ian Shufflin on him, so he's able to get by. All of a sudden, you're, you're, you're having to close out, and Franklin drives middle. Another great pass. Clark to Gardner. And what a smile on the face of Jaden Gardner coming back down the court. Eight point lead for Virginia. Looking for a date with Duke in the championship game tomorrow night. A lot of alliteration from <laughs> anxious anchorman placed in powerful post. Shot clocks at five. Godfrey on the drive. Tough shot. That'll go. You know, there was a time and fairly recently when Virginia was not clicking on all cylinders offensively. They had very, whoosh, they're clicking now. First and second in assist turnover ratio. The drive, B.J. Hall has to come over, and then the little pocket pass along the baseline to Caden Shedrick, who just slipped to the basket. That's just beautiful offense. And I think this would have really helped Clemson's defense had Clemson gone to this earlier. Beekman. Franklin, no, but the follow by Gardner. Today, tomorrow, and in some cases on Sunday, before we find out who's in, who's out, and who's going where. Turn around by P.J. Hall. Galloway to Dylan Hunter. And he'll knock it down. Got a switch now. Hall on Clark. Gardner. Caffaro. And a chance for three. Just beautiful. You can't go out and try to do it yourself. you got to play within the system. Yeah, and you can't be selfish really anywhere and win. Selfish doesn't win. But you also have to get used to a different style of coaching. Shot clock at five. Clark for three. What do you do? I mean, what do you do? 
tomorrow night. You play 29 seconds of defense, get a hand up on Kihei Clark, and still you're taking it out of the net. It's been that type of night for Virginia. And obviously with the size, the length of Shedrick, the size and the strength of Caparo, that comes in handy when you're playing a team as big as Duke is. No question. But even when you come in at this time for Virginia, you got to run the stuff. You got to run the stuff. McNeely finds Murray in the corner for three. Clock still running. And that is going to do it. Impressive doesn't do it justice. Virginia 76, Clemson 56. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.